day of chill time in Vegas before we actually headed out to California. And now we're by the beach in Oceanside, California, and our goal is just to make the most of this time together and the most of this warmer weather. We stayed the night in Laguna and then found a cute little Airbnb with ocean views. We have no reason to go anywhere. While I make a living as a professional photographer, I love moments like this where I can just have the joy of photography and just seek out beautiful or interesting things to photograph. After coming from Vegas and so many restaurants and eating out, we've just decided we're going to cook in and chill by the ocean side for a few days and just literally soak in that Pacific Ocean breeze. But as luck would have it, the next couple of days would be cloudy and raining. So I might as well break out the camera and find some joy in creativity. grouping of palm trees. To me, these palm trees are reminiscent of a Jackson Pollock painting or something along those lines. They have so much to offer in terms of abstract visuals that you can contemplate this for hours. And today I'm just taking a few minutes to explore what's in front of me. Being at one with nature with a camera in your hands is so therapeutic. It's really a great way to connect to the universe. The ocean pushes. The ocean pulls. And with every wave, it brings forth interesting life forms or objects to photograph. Once again, I'm out with the Lumix GH5 and a Leica 45mm 2.8 macro. Working slowly, breathing deep, and keeping an open mind. Like any art form, photography can be restorative to the heart and spirit. Much like a form of meditation, it helps me to feel connected to the universe, nature, and the world around us. I come across this bundle of seaweed washed up on the shore. For some reason, it speaks to me. I don't know what its story is, but I decide to create photographic vignettes of its many shapes, patterns, colors, and parts. As mesmerized as I am, I continue my walk down the beach. And now I'm really starting to see the beauty in everything. Every rich detail, every grain of sand, every blade of grass. Composition, that's really what this comes down to.
empty space, or the space between, appears to be equal to the importance of the subject or object that fills the frame. One thing I've learned is that photography is a journey. It's a lifelong study. It's artistic, it can be meaningful, it can be powerful. And on this beach today, I feel like I've had an experience that I'll never forget. Our last day in Oceanside, and it's a bright sunny day. I grew up doing every board sport imaginable. Pretty much lived on a skateboard through my college years. Surfed a lot of East Coast waves in my youth, and snowboarding will forever be a part of my life. So I'm gonna try and catch a few waves before our red-eye flight late tonight out of LAX back to the East Coast. And to kill some time and see what we can find, we decide that we're gonna drive south to La Jolla. The ride doesn't disappoint. The cove is filled with wildlife, everything from nesting birds to seals and sea lions on the beach, crashing waves, and so much more. There's no doubt this has been a trip to remember. I feel like I've grown a little bit on this journey and that I'm seeing the world a little bit clearer and a little bit differently. And now we've made our flight and it's back to the East Coast, inspired to keep creating, to keep challenging myself, to keep sharing, and to stay as connected as possible to the mysteries of this wondrous world we all live in. Go behind the scenes via our vlog, but also learn from us via tech talks, tutorials, and reviews from the perspective of two full-time artists. Oh, 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 oh,